when we remove the Lord's name, Emmanuel, from the name of his church, we inadvertently remove him as the central focus of our worship and our lives. Drab is mine, good song. So, with the bombshell news last night, I uh, got behind on the news, and so I caught up on it this morning, as we're almost at 11 a.m. And uh, uh, there's some bombshells in the news. I found that the son of the Hamas leader had spoken nine days ago, revealing Hamas's plot to exterminate Israel with this war. And so everything is confirmed that the news is anti-Semitic, that everybody who claims to be pro-Palestinian are supporting Hamas, which means they're terrorists. They are not citizens or victims when they are fighting on the front lines against Israel and demanding that Israel stop firing as the Secretary General of the UN is demanding. To claim that Gaza is in ruins and that it's a humanitarian crisis is anti-Semitic because it denies the truth of the facts of what happened. Denies the origins of the Jews versus Islam. Because Hamas isn't just a, a self-created entity from out of nowhere. They're Islamic. They were created when Muhammad created Islam. And for pro-Palestinians to deny the origin of Islam just reinforces that Muhammad's so-called religion is not a religion but a terrorist organization. To have a dome on the rock of the ruins of the Jerusalem temples? Dear God. And to claim you're the good guys and the victims. That's messed up. And so, those of you who've been following me know that this channel, I openly declare Joseph Smith and the Book of Mormon in the learning of the Jews. I even wear the ring that you will see me flash by as I face palm or try to block a sneeze or laugh hysterically at the anti-semitism and white supremacist behaviors of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints who claim that Joseph Smith and the Book of Mormon are theirs but deny that they are in the learning of the Jews using Christian terrorism created by Roman Emperor Constantine, specifically as a terrorist organization. And yet, how many billions? Lie, deny, and threaten. And so the CBC, Canadian Broadcast Channel, whatever it's called, reported that uh, DNA, excuse me, records from 23andMe were hacked back in October. And 23andMe had uh, kept it, they downplayed it. And so this past week, it's been revealed through the hackers themselves that it was a much bigger hack. And what they were looking for were any clients who have DNA from the Ashkenazi Jews. 
I do. I brought that up when I did my DNA results with you. That was years ago. <clears throat> I have West African black. I have Ashkenazi Jew. I even have them Irish. But they're the smaller percentages. And so, yeah, apparently this is being released as a hit list for others to murder me, to murder anybody who's Ashkenazi Jew. So I now have a target on me now. There are now literally other people besides the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints who want me eliminated, executed, murdered. All because of who I am in my DNA and because I will not deny that Joseph Smith and the Book of Mormon are in the learning of the Jews. Isn't that fun? So I'll just run down the other new stuff. I uh, do want to get to some uh, Jasmine videos. She sent me a bunch of comments. <laughs> so we'll see how much time the news here is. Maybe the news will be all I'll do for this video. And then we'll do a Jasmine video after. <clears throat> but uh, one comment that was flagged by YouTube and will be reported because YouTube flagged it and it is a death threat for me. It's on my Mormon Jewish Hanukkah 2023. And at six minutes and 38 seconds into the video which he puts in there that's where I talk about all of the prophecies in all of scripture not just Mormon scripture of the Book of Mormon and Joseph Smith but the Bible and extras that were rejected by the Christian Church are all prophecies of Mormons now, Mormons don't believe this. They believe Joseph Smith and the Book of Mormon are Christian, non-Trinitarian. They don't even know what non-Trinitarian means. But this is what I've been trying to get across. That there is a difference in religion. White supremacist Christian nationalists like to claim that they have Judeo-Christian values. Well, the Judeo part, they don't bother to tell you, means that they have stolen the Jewish scriptures and have reinterpreted them as Christian. That's what they mean by Judeo-Christian values. They're not buddy buddies with the Jews. Oh, we're the same religion. Same Jesus. Mm -hmm. That is anti-Semitism at its finest. <clears throat> and so he's now mocking by claiming that I'm claiming victimhood. Victims, aren't we all? There's no victimhood in there. That's the facts. Using the learning of the Jews, not Christian interpretation. And it could be a Mormon here. Although it doesn't appear to be. Because his next comment is, I mean worst Mormon here, which the usage of his speech provides multiple interpretations, 
and can only be figured out in the in the context. He's talking about me as the worst Mormon. Mormons don't claim me. I'm the other. I'm an antichrist Korahor to Mormons. And Mormons are upset just by saying the name Mormon because Nelson, the living prophet of Jesus, said Jesus is now angry and offended for using nicknames. The name of Joseph Smith's church is now an abominable name that Jesus is angry and offended with. Not a single Mormon knows it because they won't study. They read, ponder, pray, and get the right feeling. So they never know the truth. And so he confesses his only interest was to look for the hit piece. He was expecting me to lie. But I didn't lie the way he wanted to. And so he pulls an ad hominem attack upset with my manner of presentation. This isn't a professional video, guys. I know it's kind of confusing because there's professional companies on YouTube who have taken over YouTube from you and I, of which it was supposed to be a part of in the beginning. But then musicians came on and put their music on our tube, and then movies, now, YouTube allows you to pay for movie watching on YouTube. And then they have to keep adjusting how they pay people because hackers are able to figure out ways to cheat the system and get paid for doing bot videos with bot views. And so now YouTube is hiding my views. I, my view does not count anymore because of this problem that YouTube has trying to figure out how to mix commercial entities with just a common everyday person who's just talking with you or women who are doing fashion modeling for me this is all for me And so, yeah, he's now threatening me. Sit down, shut up, you're done, next. This is my channel on YouTube, and he's telling me to be silent and stop doing videos. All he has to do is stop watching the video and leave. He can't do that. He had to send a threat that YouTube flagged. As now I am hunted. I now have a target on my back. And so he's concerned about my breathing problems as well. That's the pollution of Utah. I had my rash from the winter pollution was extremely bad this year and this morning it was painful and so I, I used gold bond on it today and I'm healed it should last for a while but We'll see if I'll have to reapply it tomorrow. But uh, bad news, Flash. I can't do the the uh, what was it? The Dukes of Hazard. Yeah. Roscoe P. Coltrane, wasn't it? Wasn't that his name? I had no idea that it was about Confederacy. 
I knew the flag wasn't the American flag, but I thought because the shows were about how they were booze smugglers. <laughs> and so I learned what I thought was about prohibition in America that got repealed. And so it didn't really make sense because it's there in the 70s when prohibition was long since repealed. <laughs> you know, that's the problem of TV shows. They've got to tone them down for appropriateness for viewing. And thus they misinform the public about the history of America. But, uh, well, it had Daisy Duke. And her Daisy Dukes, as they're now called. Has, uh, the other singer woman who does, uh, other songs, Roaring and California Girls and, and Kissed a Girl, whoever she is, she talks about Daisy Dukes in one of her songs. I think it's the California song, in fact. Should we use that as the theme song in the description below? I think we shall. There's another singer. He's a country singer who also talks about Daisy Dukes. I will not use that one, but I love that one, especially the uncensored version. <laughs> so, Clearfield, Utah, are drinking pee in their tap water, and the government is saying, it's safe, drink it. <laughs> As we just had snow, all little kids are told, don't eat the yellow snow. <laughs> and so now, the drinking water in Clearfield is yellow. <laughs> There's obviously concern. And yet they're being told, it's safe. Drink it. <laughs> Dear God. And so, the, with the Karen appointment, ordination, you can see the bias yesterday, because they covered two main stories yesterday in the local Utah news, all of them. One was on Karen, the other was on Sean Reyes. For Karen, everybody says he was called to be an apostle. In the Fox 13 News Utah video, at the end of the segment, said he will be sustained in the April 2024 General Conference. And I, I have no idea how many people watched my video on that last night, and I haven't checked those stats yet. It obviously wasn't as much as ABC4 News Utah, 9,000 plus views. ABC4 News Utah always gets less views than I normally get, except for that one video. And it was far more than 144, I think, is what I last saw mine at. Which, yeah, that's a lot for me, but <laughs> they did not cover either that he was ordained. That's why I put the old clips of Nelson and Oaks in there, so that you would see what has always been the proper process and procedures of Jesus. Remember? They claim Jesus orders them to do this. But Nelson? 
Nope. With Hales dying in 2017, they followed that process. They waited till the next conference to reveal who the new guy is. But this time, no. And nobody is reporting it. They're just saying, yeah, this is the way it is. This is normal. It's always been this way. Nothing to see here. Move along. We're not going to investigate. Okay? That's for the church reporting. Now, Sean Reyes. Oh, all the news. They've been investigating. They demanded, they filed to see his calendar. Because he's been keeping it a secret. He's been hiding his calendar from the press. So they had to file to see his calendar. Because they wanted to see if there were connections with Tim Ballard. And he was hiding it. And so, they got it. They saw it. And yeah, there's connections with Tim Ballard. And so, because they investigated, the Utah Attorney General, whom the church had thrown under the bus for his failure to obey the church, to get porn banned, <laughs> and other things, He's now resigning. But the church? Nope. They will never, ever investigate the church. To even simply report, well, this is unprecedented. Never has an apostle been ordained before being sustained at a general conference. Nope will not touch it. But Utah Attorney General? Yeah, they investigated and now he's quitting. I warned you and people just lie and deny and threaten me. Like the guy who apparently isn't a Mormon and was thinking I was going to trash the Jews. Had no clue what my channel was about. <clears throat> apparently, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s birth home is here in Taylorsville, Utah. Because a Taylorsville man kept arsonists from burning it to the ground. Hmm, he's a Mormon. What do you know? <laughs> and yet... They will not. They will not celebrate Martin Luther King Jr.'s day in Utah. It's the 24th. So when I was working for the church way back in the day, every year I'm asked, which holy day do you want to take off? It has to be either Martin Luther King Jr. Day or the 24th. And, of course, all Mormons choose the 24th. And so I, I don't care. I'm here to work. I'm not here to slack off to see what I can get away with. But unions have forced businesses to allow us a pee break. <laughs> and so... Yeah, it, it was no big deal for me. I just they I had to take the days off and I didn't really care and since I didn't have my family anymore, I took Martin Luther King Jr. day off just to get it done and over with. So and now that Roe v. Wade has overturned the rights of women that they now have to file a lawsuit every time they've been raped to beg for an abortion. 
as the fetus now has rights, whereas a woman no longer has rights. Activists, or shall we say extremists, who hate human beings, are now pushing for equal rights for plants and animals to overthrow human rights. Isn't that great? We're all doomed. Okay. So that's a topic for another day. So there's the news. Stick that in the pile. The ever-increasing pile. And Alana Brophy sporting a pink skirt. Rather than pink Daisy Dukes. <laughs>